there's the lights. Hello and welcome to Live Canopin Bowling. Let's get the window out of there. Doesn't mess with the contrast. Ryan's Bowl away, Gardner, Massachusetts. Delayed for a week. He's got me going first. Delayed for a week because, well, it just was. So, father and I, four games. Father, son, curse. Will it happen? We know we're not going to see the 18,000 strikes we got last week because that was Putnam Street. Remember, that was Putnam Street. The streak is probably dead today. But then, like I said, it's only four games. So he's got me going first, so without further ado, I'll just do a test slide and then get going. Have that wonderful start at Bryant's most of the time, and that's one of them. That's a five. Could be the old father son curse. And curve enough. Four horsemen remaining. I wish it was ball two moment. Ten help. And he is saying he's not using lane three, but uh, yeah, what's happening in the last one? Hey, he said he wasn't using lane three, so I think he's probably got to do some work on it or something. Fiver. Not the five I like seeing. Sun curse. That's a six. Could it be that for the first 
last time in a long time it did driveway bowling at work and that's screwing me up. Oh no. Well you wouldn't want to play on that end. In any bowling in any bowling. Yeah the button's pressed. The little light's on. Underneath the two. Anyway, if in any bowling, if a gutter ball takes out pins on a full rack, you are allowed to reset, but that ball is a zero. There it is. I did not need that. It looks like things have got broken even. It's literally a dead horse race. Maybe there aren't enough pins in there. are helpful but we need them. It's rebuildable. Half time will be rebuildable. Paying for that working ball that happened in break two. And that's not what you wanted to do. It's another point, and that's a six. Six. This is a barn burner. Kids, this is why you do not aim for the exact center. I mean, this is a burner. Why would you watch New England candle pins, candle pins for cancer? Well, that one you should watch, period. When you got this. It's a horse race. Two horses that died horribly. Ryan's is a tough place, but it is also very forgiving at times. He's got the high in deck. Low is missing. Forget the world's tournament. This is the barn burner. Oh, 
the horse race we're watching, people. This is the big horse race. The world's is nothing. Hello, Tom. Hello, Ben. Dude, what's the first thing I see? A double, a double pinochle. Yeah, glad you saw that first. Anyway, time to continue. This is a big horse race. Which one's going to limp across the line first? They're not going to cut it. You need a mark, a ten, or two nines to make it minimally acceptable. Way to the left. If it only tilted it a little more, it would have went the other way. Maybe some more would have fell. officially over it's a six. So the father-son person is doing well. But then again, for some reason the first game at Brian's usually sucks. I don't get it, but that's how it is. First mark, of course it wouldn't go to me. Let's see if I can hit 70. Those of you think that I'm living proof. The only way I can do good is if it's at Putnam's. Anyway, let's see what he gets on his fit. Uh, El Stinko was a one. Yeah, neither of us will be getting our alignment today.
not doing it. We need a mark. Nothing else is going to work. Yeah, this game is utter junk. So if I get at least four pins, then it's the... Then it's the Putnam Street practice shot. Because at that point, there's nothing worth saving unless we get a spare. Everything but the middle finger. And that remains. Alright, spare? Or if less, if there's only three down after two, legit third shot. Four or more, it's if it's a lost cause, we'll do the practice shot. competition. Whereas competitions every point so no matter how bad we have to try our best. Nobody wins. It looks like you got four. Well, here's a barn burner. Almost a slayer, but got an eight instead. The six went up over there instead. Now this is what you tune in for. Father, son, curse, running strong. Feed is cutting out. We will, we will, We're back. Apparently it was cutting out. I don't know if we can do anything about that or not. Alrighty, we're back on. It is what it is if it ain't improving. Sometimes it all uses a reset. Better than the five. Uh, 
So this game's a lot of fun. zoomed in so off to the left is a window and that's causing everything to haze up. Oh not a one. Really? I wonder if there's a problem within the region because the internet at my parents' place was cutting out. Ouch. That's a four. Yeah, the internet cut out at my parents' place, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's a regional thing. Four. The nine helps. And he didn't go right enough. I mean, he went right, but he didn't go left enough. He's going with the if a guy hates tent, then he sure likes to go by the hook.
both on fire today. And that's a five. You are watching nothing but the best here. Although I'm barely making it to minimal. According to ICBA standards of casualty bowling, average skill is 80 to 100. And I have looked at casualty bowling sheets and found that is accurate. That's a four again. Yeah, off enough to the side I can kind of see the pins behind me. Huh? I'm off to the side enough I can see the pins behind me. squeaking by. The father-son curse, that's good enough. KRUD.
hello as you were literally here. Yeah, the masking unit on lane one is cut because the lanes are put so close together that they literally don't fit. Back 14 at the opposite end, that one's, somehow that one's actually, uh, it's way off to the right, but not as bad as these are off to the left. Plus there has to be a bigger gap because that's where the emergency exit is. Not that this place really needs it. This main exit's pretty big and very noticeable. Actually, in terms of, uh, this is one of those places where it's the exception. Usually, all returns are between one, two, three, four, five, and six. This is the only place that I, I think this is the only place where I go that it's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, Mason's was one, two, three, four. So is Putnam Street. So is, uh, no, you didn't interrupt, Brad. You're fine. for the 18,000 strikes I got at Putnam Street. But why can't the Blue Dogs realize it's Putnam Street? You get a strike just looking at the ball, just looking at the pins. That can make up for it. Uh, it was a little full. Better than the alternative. If you wanted to come and watch some excellent bowling, you got it today.
It's going so well for the both of us here. All right, time for game three. Let's see if I can actually mark for once. Hey, at least we're starting with a nine. Yeah, I pretty much told you. Remember who it's going for. Apparently Brian's is just, just west enough that he hasn't seen too much improvement in uh, traffic in Mason's clothes. Putnam Street's hard to get a lane now. Two or four lanes. I understand most of the people going there are people that went to Mason's. If I have extra money, I'll go there again. Seven. Get hit. I had left the snow plow. Fair people would to help get rid of the nine. And he used the favorable wood to get rid of the plow. Now he's got the snow. Or the middle finger, whichever you want to say. Or the pit pit. Niner.
kingpin remaining for him. Sometimes I notice the U2 bat will not fire on all four cylinders when I start it. Then if I kill it, bring it back up, then the live stream's fine. Plus, like I said, in this area, there must be some sort of uh, internet issue because it's been acting up at my parents' house too, and that's a spare. Again, the only one getting marks. Yeah. <laughs> That's six. Sometimes when you get the strike ball, this happens. Good, didn't take anything out. A miraculous thing can happen. It has been done by pros. Well, considering how it started. helps. Kind of evens up the garbage. Forgot to do the halftime report. Here it is. Plus that 10 helps a little bit. that very rare sideways diamond that never happens according to Dave which always does on this channel hey you got something out of it there's a seven Strike streak is dead today. 
And again, I know that one time we were out with Chris, last frame, last game. That's the Fitchburg City Anthem in Gardner. Although that's an ambulance, so that wouldn't be the Fitchburg City Anthem. Second, I wish it was ball two moment. It could still be a pretty decent game. Still on the lower end. If we mark, yuck, yuck. Father, son, curse. Happen, Only two marks, and this is the guy that got him. I mean, that just shows you how much I suck. People just stand there and hop the ball and do better than me. Then again, we've seen people that far worse, far worse mechanics and could beat us both. Is this a 9 or a 10? I screwed up and got a mark. That means this actually can be a pretty good game. Welcome to Putnam Street. This is probably the only appearance today for El Stinko, the bonus ball. Epco Urethane Pro Light. The only thing professional you'll see on this channel. El Stinko does what it does because Father Son curse. Three. Curse of the Phil and the Father Son curse. That's a sick. So that that spare meant nothing. Let's 
still wound up being a pretty good game. Especially with the father-son curse. Can we break it in the final? Even if the strike streak is dead. Yeah, these four and six game events, or even a, a triple at times, we can pretty much write it off that the strike streak will die at those points because it's only four or six games. Eight is great. Oh, he made it to average ability. Other half. Oops, how did that mark happen? That's probably the only one I'm getting today. 86, that's pretty good. So two of the four games, we made the minimum of acceptable acceptable games, meaning this is probably going to be a meh day today. Yeah. I don't want anyone seeing that. Well, spread eagle, that's pretty de pretty decent. And yeah, no one likes sevens, but from a spread eagle, that's pretty good. Pence close to twentieth. Probably on vacation.
figure it was a bigger operation than have a week off. Then again, they probably a company that gets this week off, I guess. Nine's the best he can do. Seven. Yeah, in the last game he did uh, he did get back on in uh, back on stride. Kind of a roadblock there. Someone who hates 10 pin sure likes to do the curves. Hey, it's easy to me. twisted on that. Another substandard but somewhat acceptable game so far. Gardner 10 pins is closed for a while. Like I said, unless they're doing renovations. Because usually a mom and pop like this place would close for a week so that the one person running the show could take a vacation. 
be Mason's even. That's five, I believe. Yeah. Even Mason's was big enough, had enough of a crew that they could be open all the time, except for all major holidays. Looks like this game's gone down the toilet. That's the only hiccup will be okay at this. Of course if you mark and get a decent show. Devil's bed pulse. Once again, kids, that's why you don't aim for the exact center. People always say, aim for the center, aim for the center. This is what happens. That, the spread eagle, which he got. And the double pinochle, which I got. Starts and ends with eight. That's why you aim for the pocket, not for the center. F5, but eights aren't going to cut it. I mean, we can get away with a couple. And this is where the father son curse is. Cannot afford to go under eight at all unless we get higher. On eight. Now we have insurance. Ouch. Three, four, five, six. It's four. One of my favorite leaves. Gives us one insurance point. That means in the last two frames I can get away with a one frame minimal of seven and fifteen total. Welcome to Putnam Street. Hit the head, hit the and spare, of course, because it's not me doing it.
strike streak is dead, but you know, if this turns out okay, then yeah, minor, minor somber. So to guarantee minimal acceptance, El Stinko needs to be a three. That's to guarantee it. His bonus ball looks good, and then that happened. Well, the fill of six isn't bad. I would have thought he would carry the bat two there. He should have been aiming for the two. All right, six fill and an eight. I lied. This is El Stinko for the last time today. And this is where the strike streak officially dies. El Stinko kind of stinks for the lead, but the five fills decent. to the fill on the other mark that I got today. Strike streak is dead. I fought the father-son curse really hard and yeah, you can kind of tell. He almost got 80. Yeah, so 72, 68, boy, was that a Nobody won. <laughs> well, 82, 86. Oh, wait a minute. I got this back. 72, 68. Yeah. 66, 82. Me again. Yeah, if you want to call this winning. Hey, three of the four games were okay. No 90s, no 100s. So, yeah. You know why. Father son curse. I tried stomping on it, but it wouldn't go away. But managed to get something decent out of it. Anyway, that is this edition of Live Camp and Bowling, Brian's Bowling, Gadna Hay, Massachusetts. And like I said, because everything looks streaky, because if we put this by default, you get that bright window over there. So it's not zoomed in like that. Wow, I actually got it first try. Good enough. Anyway, just in time to end it. So this is Georgia551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.